messy morning commute for a lot of these folks trying to navigate their way through northeast Philadelphia. Right here is the intersection of Cotman and Tarsdale Avenues. And take a look. I mean, you see this truck right here, this giant yellow oversized load truck? There is a whole line of trucks behind that truck. And these are semis that normally would be going along the road, but have now been redirected because of that accident that Chandler was telling us about on State Road. So we simply have too many vehicles, too many large vehicles, especially a whole lot of semi trucks and not enough road to fit them in. So there has been mounting frustration. We've been hearing a lot of honking horns. And you mentioned that it's not just the traffic troubles resulting from this I-95 shutdown. Nearby business owners tell me that they're feeling the frustration and uh, they're also hurting as a result of all of this mess. So I spoke with a couple of those business owners here on Tarsdale Avenue who tell me that this traffic situation is far from ideal. And uh, they say that the detour routes are not really clear, especially during rush hour times like right now. Some of the streets are closed, so drivers are forced to find their way around them. And it's become either bumper to bumper traffic on some of these main roads or a mad dash trying to avoid that traffic on some of the back streets. Athenian restaurant has been in business now for more than 30 years, but the owner tells me he's seen a significant dip in business in just the last week, and he believes that's the direct result of this chaotic traffic. Like everyone's just talking about how to get around it, but no one really knows how. So I, I'm sure that's affecting how people get here. And, you know, if there's more traffic on the avenue, there's more less parking spots. A lot of these businesses are open close after a few months. I mean, I don't think this is going to help at all in helping this area, you know, thrive. Now, despite some of the recent struggles, those business owners I talked to are actually somewhat optimistic about the plan to get I-95 back open. And that's thanks to that temporary bridge that is now being built on I-95. They just want to get their business back to normal, and they know that traffic has to get back to normal in order to do that. Now, back out here live, the city is actually now stepping in to try and help out some of those struggling businesses. They've opened up this business hotline at 215-683-2100, or they say you can go ahead and email business at phila.gov to try and get some temporary help and help these business owners get back on their feet. Guys, back to you. It's been a rough week for them. And of course, the question now is how long before that temporary stretch is up and running? Uh, we have yet to hear more on that. So thank you for that update for us, Ross.